Hi, welcome to the eCam channel. This is John. Today we are going to demonstrate one method to fabricate a 3 electro cell using switch lock parts. We use this cell to characterize the electrochemical behaviors of materials for energy storage. This method features limited electrolyte and material usage and a good read performance due to the small diffusion length in the electrode and the electrolyte. For this experiment, we need the following chemicals and components prepared before the assembly a reference electrode, a bottle of electrolyte, pieces of separators, a counter electrode, a working electrode, the switch lock cell body and the fittings, classic carbon electrodes that serve as the current collectors and the gaskets to prevent leakage. There are a few consumables like pipettes and king wipes that are not shown here but should be prepared as well. The specific components used in the following demonstration are listed in the parentheses. The activated carbon 3 standing film is made of 95 weight percent YP50 activated carbon with 5 weight percent PTFE. The TSVC2 Maxine film was prepared by vacuum assisted filtration. Here we first show how to prepare electrodes with specific diameters using the working electrode as an example. For the working electrode, we use a puncture with a 3 mm diameter. A piece of weight paper is put in between the working electrode and the Teflon board to keep the material clean. With this setup, we can punch out a circular electrode and measure its mass for gravimetric analysis. To assemble the switch lock cell, we first install a gasket on a glassy carbon electrode and insert the electrode into the switch lock cell body. Make sure the electrode goes through the cell body to assist working electrode placement later on. We loosely screw the cap to help fix the electrode in place. Next, install the gasket on the other glassy carbon electrode. To help the adhesion of the working electrode on the glassy carbon, we put a droplet of electrolyte on the glassy carbon first. Remove some electrolyte if needed. Place the working electrode on the glassy carbon and center it. To place the counter electrode and separators, we first assemble them and press the other glassy carbon electrode firmly against the assembly. They will stick. Make sure the two glassy carbon electrodes are aligned and press the counter electrode against the working electrode until they reach the center of the cell body. Holding the two electrodes firmly against each other and put the cap on, keep pressing on the electrode while screwing the cap. Then tightly screw the cap on the working electrode side while keep pressing on the electrodes against each other. Take two pieces of parafilm to seal the cell body in case of electrolyte leakage. Screw the cap for the third opening. Add electrolyte and tap against the solid surface to get rid of any bubbles trapped in the cell body. Finally, install the reference electrode. Rinse the reference with DI water and gently dry it with a piece of king wipe. Insert the reference electrode into the third opening. Use parafilm to secure its position. Label yourself appropriately. Connect the cell to the leads from the potential stat. Now you are ready to run some electrochemical experiments. I hope this demonstration helps you learn a new experimental setup to perform electrochemical characterizations. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Many thanks to Veronika Shedelva for performing this demonstration. She is currently a visiting scholar in the nanomaterials group at Drexel University. The videos in our eCam channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our video to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.